People, it's me, King Human. Listen up! <laughs> this is going to be good. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Probably not. Whatever. Just watch. Don't give me shit. Okay, what's doing is... Uh, I got to yell at some of you people a little bit because, again, I'm getting this thing from some of you guys saying, King Human, why don't you show your Lamborghini? Why don't you show your yacht? Why don't you show that you have the biggest mansion in mansion land? And then we would believe you when you say that you're making money. Well, first of all, I don't brag about the amount of money I make. I don't even like to show it. There's always going to be a bunch of guys that make more money than me and a bunch of guys that make less than me. And it's not about how much money I make, is it? It's about how much money you make. So when you look at these guys, and, and you know, I've warned you about it time and time again. You look at these guys that come out and say, Hey, look at my garage full of Lamborghinis. Look at this is my new backyard. Isn't it wonderful? Let me take you on a tour. My house has an elevator in it. Now there's, you know what? I've warned you guys about that kind of stuff because any idiot can go out there and rent that crap. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm going to get into this in a minute. Now, there's a guy that advertises on my channel, Ty Lopez. He advertises on a bunch of channels. But I don't know the guy from a can of paint. I haven't seen a thing. I haven't seen one course of his. The only thing I've seen from him is the one advertisement that he posted, uh, you know, one time on my channel. And he came out and he goes, Here's my garage. Look, I got two Lamborghinis in my garage. You want to have two Lamborghinis in your garage? This is what you do. Drop out of school. And I, I went, oh my God, this guy is so cheesy. So, again, I don't know the guy from a can of paint, and I'm trying not to be judgmental. I don't like to come out and bash other people. Because I don't, you know, I don't know them, really. I mean, you can tell what kind of ethics they have, if you've got any kind of judgment or, you know, if you've got any kind of reasoning between your ears, you know, anybody that comes out and says, look at my yacht, look at my, look at my Lamborghinis, look at my big house. They're distracting you. It's like a magician. You know how a magician performs magic? Misdirection. They want you to look over here when you should be looking over here. What this is, is substance. What this is, is fluff that means nothing to you. What that guy does, what that guy has or doesn't have, doesn't mean anything to you. Because most of these guys that come out and say, hey, look what I got, two problems. First of all, what they're showing you is rented crap they don't own. And there's proof of it with this Ty Lopez guy. He got caught with his pants down. Uh, I'll put a, I'll, there's a video I want you guys to watch. I'll put a link to the video expose on him right down there. Basically, he, he, he walks through and he goes, look at my great house. Look at this. And he's got this, he's walking around this big house in Beverly Hills. And the guy found that same house on Zillow in short-term rentals that anybody can rent. This guy rented it for one day and he pretended like it was his house. Now, he didn't say he owned the house. He said, let's walk through my house. And I guess, I guess if you're renting a property, you could say, this is my house. But I guarantee you he rented it for one, two, three days, whatever, to shoot that film. I consider it fraud. I consider it misleading. And I would love to see the Federal Trade Commission come down on this guy's ass for, for, for that. Because I hate for you guys to think in these terms. Wow, look at what that guy has. If I only listened to him, I could have that in my life. No. There, I, I want to tell you something. There, there are no quick answers. You want to make money online, this is what I found worked for me in my life. It took a lot of time. 
It was an educational process. It's not a magical thing where if you, uh, you know, okay, I'm, I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to absolutely blow on this because I hate people taking advantage of other people. And it's going on more and more. The more I see this kind of misleading shit, and, and uh, 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 I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. I can't even focus my head. I get so angry at this. Because when, when marketers like me, yes, I'm an internet marketer, but I pride myself on having ethics. And yes, I tell people, hey, I think you guys should go check out this product because I think it has merit. It's because I really do believe in the product. And I do think it has merit, and I do think it can help you. So when I tell you something like that, I want it to really improve your life. So when I see cheese balls come out and say, Hey, I got the biggest mansion in mansion land, and I got the biggest yacht in, in, the, in the harbor, and I got this and I got that. And you know what? You could too if you only did what I told you. It makes me crazy. It makes me angry because I'll tell you guys, I know this formula and I could do the exact same thing. This is what he did. He went out and he rented a bunch of stuff. He leased a Lamborghini, he rented it probably for a couple of days. I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff for fact. I'm just telling you what I suspect. You could rent these things, shoot a killer video put it on YouTube and buy advertising and plug the hell out of that video and then build it and build it. You know what the other killer thing is? If you do that, you go out, you show yourself in a Lamborghini, you rent a big house for a day, you do all that stuff, it's a tax write-off. So is the paid advertising. You don't think I could do that? But here's the problem. I actually have ethics. I can't do that and sleep at night because it implies even if now here's where it gets see here's where it gets really cheesy okay they don't come out guys like this they don't come out and they say if you do this you're gonna have two Lamborghinis in your garage and you're gonna have a big thing it's implied and I hate when people imply well, look at what I can do. And you know what? You can do it too. Now, some people are going to say, but King Human, you kind of do that too. No, I don't. I'm very, I mean, do you see me wearing fancy watches and driving fancy cars? And, you know, here, here's my dilemma. And I, I know I'm jumping around and going crazy because I'm, I'm really frantic about this. I really always hate this kind of mentality, but... Okay, here's my particular problem as it applies to me. I get a bunch of emails from people saying, King Human, show your lifestyle. Show your Lamborghini. Show your mansion in mansion land. Well, here's the thing. I can't for two reasons. I don't have a big mansion in mansion land, and I wouldn't do that. You know what I have? I have money in the bank. That's what I want. I wear freaking old ass t-shirts, shorts, flip-flops. I don't have big watches. I don't have a fancy car. I don't have a fancy home. I have a condo that I bought with cash, laid it on the line. I got zero house payments. I got low taxes. That's what I like because I'm putting a crap ton of money in the bank. That's my personal thing because I come from a place of insecurity. So even if I had a crap ton of money, you're not going to see me buying Lamborghinis and giant houses. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. But you've got to understand, for me to do that, I have to be in a really special place because I'm not that kind of person. And uh, anyway, again, I want you to go down there and watch this guy who made a YouTube video exposing this Ty Lopez thing for what it is. Um, again, I don't know, I'm not saying anything other than go check this out. I don't know this Ty Lopez guy from a can of paint, but here's the thing. Most of these kind of guys make their money 
by selling you the information, not by doing what they're teaching, but by selling you the information. That's the difference. See, now I make my money by doing what I'm actually teaching you guys. And yes, I do have a website. And it's a paid website where I teach people how to make money. But I charged a tiny bit for it. I don't know how much this guy charges, but he's making bank. And I got to respect that. He has a business model that works, but I don't respect the fact that I think it's, if he's dis, it, here's my thing. If somebody's dishonest in one area, like a main area where he lies about his house and his this and his that, he's not to be trusted in anything else that he puts out there. In fact, you should run like a scalded dog, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. So use your own best judgment. But here's the thing. Okay, yes, I do have a website where I teach people. But here's the difference. I teach people that, hey, this is going to be like going to college. It's going to take you a long time. You're going to fail. You're going to, you know, it's, it's, it's not a magical instant thing that's going to make you instant freaking money. For me, it, personally, it took me years to figure this stuff out. But now that I figured it out, I'm trying to teach people and give them a hand up because I wish I would have had that when I was coming up, but there was nobody around. You know, it was a bunch of these guys. Hey, I got the biggest mansion in Mansionland. I'm not going to tell you that I rented it for one freaking day, but buy my thing. And then you buy the thing and it's, it's nothing that's workable for you. So before everybody jumps on my ass and says, oh, King Human, you're just like Tylo. I am not. I have ethics. I stand by my ethics. And it's one thing to say you have ethics. It's another thing to practice them. Because again, I could do this exact formula and I could make so much freaking money. But I refuse because money is not everything to me. You know, people are going to say, oh, you're full of you. You know, I got friends of mine that say stuff like that. They don't know. I mean, it, it just makes me crazy that people are so superficial. They apply their own lack of ethics to the other people around them. And I guess it's because when you come across somebody that really has ethics, it's such a rare thing that you can't believe it's true. I'm alone. I'm alone in the wilderness. What am I going to do? I'm an internet marketer with ethics. It's hard to come by. And, you know, I see a lot of these new guys coming up, and they, they see my stuff, and they go, Oh, King Human, he's found a good little trick. He says he's got ethics. Let's use that. So I'm seeing a lot of new guys coming out saying, Hey, I'm an internet marketer with ethics. Again, it's one thing to say it. It's another thing to practice it. And not just practice it once for the benefit of a camera, but practice it throughout your entire life in everything you do. All right. I'm done yelling and freaking out because I'm not making sense, probably. I'm just ranting about, I warned you guys, you know, you guys that said, King Human, show your stuff, show your bling, and this is, I warned you, I came out with a video saying, hey, you guys realize those guys that show their bling like that, like Bernie Madoff, Google Bernie Madoff. That's all rented. It's all superficial shit that means nothing. Anybody can do it. Go look at this guy's video on YouTube. I forget his name on YouTube. Um, but it's called the Ty Lopez Conspiracy. He makes some... <laughs> it's funny. And it's a funny, entertaining video. So I'm going to send a bunch of traffic to this guy, hopefully. And you guys can can possibly open your mind to how some of these internet marketing guys work and there are a lot of there are a lot of scammers out there there are a lot of you know just be careful and make sure anything you buy on the internet has a money back guarantee right all right guys maximum respect and donate a few bucks to help us a sick kid at st jude's research hospital for kids by anara wow long ass video sorry I don't think anybody watched it to the end. Nobody can take that much of this face. If you watch this video to the entire end, 
man, you're a glutton for punishment. Or, or maybe you just turned off the screen so you wouldn't have to look. But you still have to listen to my annoying voice. Oh my God, you get credit. All right, bye, Anara.